time now for our Californian connection. Martin Lewis on what's going down in the States. And this week it's more a case of uh, who's going down. The most extensive American sex survey yet is making interesting reading under the satin sheets of Beverly Hills. Martin Lewis here in Hollywood. In a few moments, we're going to meet a couple of young screenwriters who've had a huge success by writing a movie about one of Hollywood's biggest failures. But first, the latest tales from Tinseltown. <laughs> Big talking point this week is this book, Sex in America. It's the most comprehensive survey of American sexual behaviour since the Kinsey Report back in the 50s. Lots of revelations. American men claim that on average in their lifetime they only have six sexual partners and American women claim only two partners. Surely four women are missing out somewhere. The thing I found most fascinating though was that Americans answered all these embarrassing questions face to face except for one which they insisted on writing down the answer. How much money do you earn a year? Today is Halloween, and that's traditionally a big celebration here in America, with everyone rushing out to buy really scary masks and costumes. What I find scary is this is this year's biggest seller, the O.J. Simpson mask. There's even a Nicole Simpson wig. And the official protest so far has come from O.J.'s lawyer. He claims this doesn't look enough like his client. He thinks it resembles more closely one of his other famous defendants, Mike Tyson. <laughs> In Hollywood, everyone's always trying to push you a script, even the waiters, and for very good reason. A hit movie can earn a writer over $2 million. No wonder that each year the copyright people register over 30,000 new scripts. Out of the, the scripts that get sold, I would say about one out of every 10 or 15 scripts that get purchased by a studio actually get made. So the chances is like a snowball in hell, isn't it? Uh, I think the snowball has a better chance. So what's the criteria for a big hit? what everybody else is saying around town. That's called heat. If a script has a lot of heat on it, even if it comes from the worst agent in town, by the worst writer, from the worst producer, if everybody else is saying it's great, then that script might very well get, get sold for a million dollars. So if I came to you and tried to sell you a script about a, a talentless transvestite film director uh, whose movies are all miserable failures and who dies a complete nobody, what would the standard studio response be? Pass. Well, that film has been made, and it's the latest hit. And cut, Brent. We're moving on. It's called Ed Wood, and it stars Johnny Depp, who plays the world's worst film director, who has a fetish for wearing Angora sweaters. Based on a real character, it's directed by established filmmaker Tim Burton, but it was created by two young scriptwriters who beat all the odds. Primarily, people make fun of him. He's very campy, and he wore women's dresses, and he made terrible movies, and people have been laughing at him over the last few years. But we thought, what if you write a movie about him that made the audience root for him? And, and, and we were, we were in, in such a low morale point ourselves that it seemed important to us to make an audience sympathize with this misunderstood artist. I mean, we've been talking about writing an Ed Wood movie for 10 years, and we kind of didn't write it until now just because we thought, well, who would make this movie? But when we finally did get around to writing it, exactly, when we finally did get around to writing it, one of the most powerful directors in the world uh, supported us. Well, I think Ed Wood was made because of the, uh, the talent and bravery of a director who was able to override the fear of a studio. What happens is people look at the script, and something strikes them as odd. So they say, lose that. And then another guy says, well, that's odd, lose that. So after a certain point, you've lost everything that was odd and interesting. You've got a very bland product. I mean, one lesson on this movie is we wrote a very strange movie, and it got shot verbatim. What was your inspiration for doing this film? If you look at uh, filmographies of many famous artists, someone like Van Gogh was never understood in his time. He was laughed at, people wouldn't buy his paintings, he died a pauper. Like Ed Wood. Well, Ed Wood is going to be in British cinemas early in the new year. Anna Nick, watch out for a boom in the sales of Angora sweaters. Be well, right absolutely. there. Mind you, I'm always alert to that one.